Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and just want to give you a quick look at a new feature in Android Lollipop called uh, pinning. It basically gives you the opportunity to pin an app, and uh, so if you hand your phone over to somebody, that uh, one app will be the only thing that they could run unless uh, they can figure out how to get out of it, which really isn't hard depending on if you have a lock screen enabled or not. Uh, the first thing you need to do though in order to even do it whatsoever is to go into the settings and make sure uh, that you have the feature turned on and that would be down in security which uh, there's the top you just go down to security and go all the way down to screen pinning and uh, by default it's going to be off and it's basically going to tell you um, uh, when it's setting is turned on, it keeps the current screen in view, uh, and then you know how to how to pin a screen, which I'm going to get into in a second anyway. Um, so basically, we're going to switch it on, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, to to pin an app is actually actually a little strange. It's kind of convoluted. You're going to have to go to your most recent uh, tab and. Basically, you can only do it with the most current app that was open, which was Settings. Uh, you'll see as you scroll up, there's a little pin icon there. So if you want to pin something else, you have to first open it and then come back to here. So let's just say, for example, I want to do Chrome. And uh, so I'm going to have to open Chrome first. I can't pin it yet, but then when I come over here to Recents, it's now in the front, and now I can pin it. So you can see, I'll go ahead and pin it, and now it says use screen, screen pinning, you know, I'm going to accept or not. And I also, if I have a screen lock, which I do in place, a pin code, it'll give you this option as well to ask for a pin before um, unpinning. Unpinning, you just basically hold down the, um, the recents and the back key, and, the, and that's all you need to really do. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, well right now I'm not going to say anything. So we'll just put start and so it says screen pinned. So anybody can go here and this is the web browser and if it's a game they can do whatever and uh, you can uh, tap on things and you can and the home key is disabled um, right now. Yeah, so I just went into an article and I can go with the back key. I can use that but I can't use uh, the most recent key and I can't use the home key you also won't see any notifications or anything so that's it that's all they can really do if the display turns off it'll come right back to it uh, I have a lock screen enabled but it didn't show there and the reason why is because that's all they can get to anyway so obviously I feel confident and safe that whatever I gave them is okay for them to use so it's not a big deal that the lock screen didn't come on there so in order to get out of it, you basically hit the two keys together and you're out. It's as simple as that. Now, if I, what I'll do is I'm going to repin it now and show it to you with the security lock. So go ahead, repin it, and go ahead and check. And uh, go ahead and uh, hit start. It's now pinned. So the person can do whatever. These things are gone. It tells the person right here what to do to get out. If it's uh, an adult, they can figure out if you don't have an, uh, a pin code or any swipe or any, I mean, um, a pattern, they can get it into whatever they need to get into. So it's not the most secure. But if you have a secure lock screen and you've enabled that, then obviously they can't get anywhere. So go ahead and press the two buttons together, and now you get the lock screen. And right now it's a simple one, two, three, four. And um, I'm out. So that's pretty much what it is. It's a simple thing. Maybe you want to give it to a kid uh, so they can run a particular game and they're young enough not to figure out how to get out by pressing those two keys. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, I don't have a situation where I know that I've got to lock up a phone to give it to a friend. Uh, if I'm handing a phone to somebody I don't trust or worried about, then I don't even know why I'd be handing them the phone. So, But anyway, it is an option. It's there. And uh, maybe you can get some use out of it. So that's screen pinning uh, with Android Lollipop. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.